it's uh, Wednesday out here, um, evening. Um, we had some uh, issues with uh, skirting, and uh, they had to do some rethinking about how they wanted to approach that problem. And um, uh, we finally got a solution to the situation. And so they've come out here today and started laying out a framework for the skirting panels. Um, as you can see, they're using uh, metal studding here, drywall studding, to uh, create a framework, a bottom track, and then some vertical uh, uprights for the panels to mount to. Then um, what they're going to do from there down a thin uh, strip of molding material to cover this up and then come back in and cog because they're going to have to fill in all these uh, grooves in the siding to keep the water from collecting up on that trim piece here. So um, that's, that's the plan. Um, the reason for that and the reason for the re-engineering of this whole underside. Get the wind again here, so hopefully I'm not losing you. Uh, here you can see where they're working along this side with the the structure to hold those panels in. But uh, again, getting back to the cause of this um, is we have two different types of siding going on on the front of this house. Um, now here's something to keep in mind. To this manufacturer modular, um, you're going to need to discuss with your your builder or your retailer, or however you go about purchasing your units, about how the skirting is going to be installed and how they're going to approach a situation like we have here with a mismatched siding, where you're going from horizontal siding over to vertical siding. So they have come up with a solution, and uh, it, it all stems around this uh, steel studding. Um, I talked to the installer this morning, they called me out here to the job site actually to uh, make sure I was going to be okay with what their solution to the problem was, and I really appreciate them doing that. Um, as I had mentioned before, uh, there's been a, a whole lot of good cooperation on this whole on this project from our local construction community, and uh, these guys are right in there, uh, making sure that we're happy with how things are being done and happy with the fit and finish. So uh, things are looking up on on this whole skirting issue. Now, uh, they, they have essentially two days to get this completed, and along with that, in that two day window, I should say it's about two and a half day window, um, well actually I take it back, a day and a half, uh, they also need to get this, now we're picking up wind again here, they also need to get this, uh, this fill dirt spread around base of the house once the panels are in place. So they're going to have to put in quite a full day tomorrow trying to wrap up the rest of this skirting and then uh, probably another crew will come back out Friday morning once the skirting is done and get the uh, gravel, or I should say the uh, fill dirt spread. reason for the Friday deadline is that the, uh, the lender has uh, gone ahead and set up a final sign-off date Friday, uh, which means the builder will get his 
balance of the money from the bank for the work that he's done. Um, those of you that are looking into this, I would suggest uh, you take a look at what's called an OTC loan, which stands for one time close. If you can get a lender to do that for you, it's much more beneficial on your part. Um, you can Google that. I'm not going to get into the dynamics of it, but um, it is a much better way to go. Um, as you can see, I got big blue out here again today. Keep coming out with him. Alright, so I'm going to call this a wrap. We're going to get on back out of here. Cross our fingers and toes here that um, everything works out here and they can get this completed. Or we may have to push back that closing date until sometime next week. And I know we're kind of in the home stretch here and everybody's anxious to get this thing wrapped up. Everybody's anxious to get their money and, and get, uh, get us into this place too, uh, which is the ultimate goal. So, um, call her off for today and we'll catch you next time around thanks for checking in uh, look back at some of the other videos hope you're getting a good education off it uh, maybe getting a good chuckle uh, otherwise uh, I got the uh, old Patreon chicken on the bottom if anybody would like to contribute uh, I don't know I got some wind going again I don't know how well you can hear me but maybe that's one thing I need to look at I ever get some Patreon support here is getting a little bit better camera so I can bring you guys a little bit better view. Uh, using a, an old Android phone right now. Uh, but it does film in 720, so that's not bad. Alright, that's enough for today.